Hey everyone, welcome to Novation. This is Shantanu and I welcome you all to the second part of our important foreign words lecture series. And uh, today also we are going to see most important foreign words and phrases and these are directly asked in exams like IFT, SNAP, CLAT and are also very important for the reading comprehensions of CAT, uh, CMAT and TISNET. So friends, uh, please do watch the part one of uh, this video lecture uh, and its link will be in the description section and also on, on the top right corner of your screens. So without any further ado, let's start this session. So friends, what we are going to do is first we'll see the word, then we'll see its origin and then we'll see the meaning. Also, there will be a visual aid uh, through which you can remember the word easily. So the first word is bona fide. So its origin is Latin and its meaning is real or genuine so uh, how you can remember it by uh, looking it at this certificate so you must have uh, made a bona fide certificate in your college or your school so bona fide actually means uh, that in good faith or real or something is genuine okay so ye hota hai bona fide ka meaning and its origin is also very important for IFT it is latin let's move forward next word is deja vu so uh, it's a very common word i hope you know it so its origin is uh, france it is a french word and its meaning is a feeling of having already experienced the present situation so friends uh, i i hope aapne bhi experience kiya hoga like you are doing something uh, in the present and you feel like ye to maine pehle bhi kiya yaar so uh, that feeling is known as deja vu like this person is just playing with a rubik cube but he is feeling that he has already you know done this kind of work before like uh, you get some kind of experience or feeling that I have done this before or I have met with this person before. So that feeling is known as deja vu. Please note it down. Very important. Let's move forward. Next word is lingua franca. So friends, its origin is Italian. So it's an Italian word and its meaning is a language that is adopted as a common language between speakers whose native languages are different. So lingua franca is a such language hai, jo different different uh, language bolne wale logo ne apnai hai so you can learn, uh, remember it with english because english is a global language it's a lingua franca because hum agar kisi american se baat karna chahte hain to hum usse english mein baat kar sakte hain plus ek Jap japanese person se baat karna chahenge to wo bhi english samajhta hai so that's why english is today a lingua franca so it's an example i hope the meaning of lingua franca is clear let's move forward next is another very important visa vis so its origin is French, another French word and its meaning is in relation to something or face to face something. So it is uh, generally used for comparison when you're comparing two things. So you can easily um, you know, learn, uh, remember this from this photograph face to face when you keep two things face to face and compare them vis-a-vis -vis is used. I hope it's clear. Next word is prima facie. Friends, very, very, very important word. Bohat bar use hota hai. To isko to note kar lijiye. So its origin is Latin. And its meaning is at first sight or first impression. Kisi cheez ko pehli baar dekh ke agar hum kuch baat bolte hai. Like I'm looking at it first time and I'm telling something. Making a first impression. That is prima facie. So it's generally used in legal kind of articles. Uh, in, you know, when you read some decisions of courts or... Uh, some kind of articles in which some legal thing is required so mostly it is used there prima facie so it's very important and you can remember it by make a good first impression okay so prima facie is clear moving ahead next is ex gratia so uh, its origin is an, uh, again latin and its meaning uh, done from a sense of moral obligation rather than because of any legal requirement friends another uh, legal kind of terminology when uh, something is done due to a moral obligation aapko usko uh, legally karne ki zarurat nahi hai but you do it because of morality or the humanity inside of you then it is called ex gratia iska main aapko ek example se samjhata hu maan lijiye apne desh mein apni kahin jagah pe baad aati hai ya there is a you know earthquake or flood so if people some people die then the state government or the central government gives some kind of ex gratia money to uh, their family members okay so that is out of uh, moral uh, responsibility of the government not uh, because they are legally required to do i hope ex gratia is clear now what you have to do you have to find the meaning of ex officio okay so do find its meaning and tell me in the comment section moving ahead next is modus operandi so it's another very important and most mostly used word let's see its origin it's again a latin word and its meaning is 
a particular way or method of doing something that is modus operandi okay so you can remember it through this uh, you know process kind of a diagram because it basically tells what is the way of doing something process of doing something okay a particular way or method of doing something that is modus operandi uh, moving ahead next is sine qua non friends very 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 important please note it down so its origin is again latin and its meaning that's very important and essential condition for something kisi cheez ko hone ke liye ek bahut zaruri condition or an indispensable condition that is sine qua non uh, so let's take an example here a santa claus is saying seasons greeting and keep in mind kindness is a sine qua non of happiness matlab ke kindness agar aapke paas hogi kindness is a very essential condition for happiness khushi chahiye to uske liye ek condition hai ke aapko kind hona padega if you are kind to other people then you are automatically going to be happy so i hope the, this sentence is clear sine qua non means a essential condition for happening something so iska agar main aapko ek aur example dun so photosynthesis sunlight is sine qua non for photo uh, synthesis okay so i hope this is clear essential condition for something so sunlight is a sine qua non for uh, photosynthesis uh, moving ahead another very very important word uh, carte blanche let's see its origin so from the you know accent you can understand it's a french word and its meaning is complete freedom to act as one wishes aapko puri azadi hai ki aapko kya karna hai jaise act karna hai waise kijiye okay so example ke liye i have attached an image of uh, indian army uh, because uh, presently uh, our honorable prime minister has given army a free hand complete freedom to act as they wish uh, on the border areas uh, near to china okay so i hope it's clear moving ahead next is caveat emptor so let's see its origin so its origin is latin and its meaning is the principle that buyer alone is responsible for checking the quality goods quality of goods before a purchase so buyer is responsible buyer uh, yani ki jo cheez khareed raha hai the customer is only responsible to check the quality of the product so from uh, this sign board you can remember it caution buyer beware proceed at your own risk so that is caveat emptor principle of uh, saying that buyer alone is responsible to check the quality of good before buying anything i hope it's clear moving ahead so next word is de rigueur okay so another important word its origin is french it's a french word and its meaning is strictly required as by etiquette or fashion something which is required by fashion or etiquette of a present situation or a uh, you know any event so uh, from the image you can see it's a band named queen so at that point in time when the uh, queen was actually performing live there they used to have long hairs so wahan par ek style tha prachalan tha ke lambe baal rakhte the band jo bhi uh, musical band ya music com- industry mein rehte the so that is it was strictly required kind of a requirement if you are in a band you have to have a you know nice uh, long hair and you know funky clothes so that is de rigueur that is the strictly required or uh, required by etiquette or fashion i hope it's clear moving ahead next is infant terrible so from the photograph and from the word you can you know get an idea what does it mean infant uh, it's basically related to a child and terrible you know so it's an uh, origin is again french and its meaning is an incorrigible child or a person who behaves in a unconventional or controversial manner सो इनकॉरिजेबल का मतलब है कि एक बच्चा या चाइल्ड जिसको सुधारा नहीं जा सकता जो बहुत ज़्यादा नखरे करता है या बहुत परेशान करता है तो दैट इज़ काइंड ऑफ इनकॉरिजेबल हु कैन नॉट बी ट्रीटेड इनकॉरिजेबल चाइल्ड और पर्सन हु बिहेव्स इन अ अनकन्वेंशनल मैनर सो आई होप इनफेंट टेरिबल इज क्लियर जो बहुत परेशान कर रहा हो या ऐसा जो बहुत अलग तरीके से बिहेव करता हो दैट इज़ इनफेंट कॉरिजेबल टेरिबल लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड so next word is glasnost very important and uh, i hope uh, you guys will note it so glasnost its origin is russian and its meaning is open and transparent so this word you know traces its origin to uh, the era of uh, cold war between uh, ussr and uh, usa so basically it was related to a discussion which happened between america and uh, uh, ussr which was open and transparent discussion so it was named as glasnost so i hope it is clear glasnost means something which is done in an open and transparent manner so uh, that way you can remember it from the photograph also uh, where there is transparent accountability is there for the government 
or anything which is transparent and open in front of the uh, public uh, moving ahead next is mia kalpa another very essential word so its origin is latin and its meaning is jo ki humko shabd se bhi clear ho raha hai acknowledging one's own fault ya khud ka error ya khud ka fault ko manna mia isko aap kaise yaad rakh sakte hain mia ko aap bolenge me kalpa culprit i am the culprit इट मीन्स आई एम द कल्प्रिट मैं ही कल्प्रिट हूँ खुद ये मात मान रहा हूँ मैं सो अ क्यूट डॉग एक्नोलॉजिंग दैट येस आई हैव डन अ मिस्टेक आई होप मिया कल्पा इज वेरी क्लियर लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड नेक्स्ट इज प्रो बोनो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड बिकॉज अगर आप अच्छे ओपिनियंस रीड करते हैं एडिटोरियल्स रीड करते हैं वहाँ पर बहुत बार यूज होता है प्रो बोनो एसेंशियली इन लीगल आर्टिकल्स सो इट्स ओरिजिन इज अगेन लैटिन एंड इट्स मीनिंग इज denoting work undertaken without any charge especially legal work for a client on low income so agar uh, koi uh, uh, advocate hai he takes no money uh, for fighting the case of a client then he is doing the work pro bono without any charge he is doing it for a low income client that is uh, pro bono i hope aapne note kiya hoga it's a essential word moving ahead next is verbo 10 and iska origin jo hai wo hai german इट्स अ जर्मन वर्ड एंड जैसा कि आप फोटो में देख पा रहे हैं इसका मीनिंग है फॉरबिडन और प्रोहिबिटेड समथिंग विच इज नॉट अलाउड और इज फॉरबिडन इज वर्बो टेन एंड इट्स ओरिजिन इज जर्मन आई होप इट्स क्लियर मूविंग अहेड नेक्स्ट एंड अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड इज जाइट जेस्ट एंड इट्स ओरिजिन इज जर्मन अगेन एंड इट्स मीनिंग इज द स्पिरिट ऑफ टाइम और अ जनरल ट्रेंड ऑफ थाट्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक और पर्टिकुलर पीरियड ऑफ अ टाइम अगर किसी समय में कुछ एक ट्रेंड बहुत ज़्यादा प्रचलित है उसको हम बोलेंगे जाइट जाइस्ट यानी कि आप फोटो से देख सकते हैं कि 60s में लोग कैसे जो भी म्यूजिकल बैंड्स होते थे लंबे बाल हिपी जैसे क्लोथ्स पहनना तो वो उस समय का एक स्पिरिट था उस टाइम का एक ट्रेंड था उसे बोलते थे जाइट जाइस्ट अभी भी अगर इसको यूज़ करेंगे तो यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एन एन एरा एंड द स्पिरिट ऑफ दैट एरा देन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट जाइट जाइस्ट moving forward so friends now we have come to the assignment section of the video and i want you guys to find the origin and meaning of these words first is ergo second is ex cathedra so in the comment section tell me the origin of both these words and the meanings and if you'd like you can tell me the uh, use in a sentence also so i hope uh, the session was fruitful and you have learned something and please uh, keep noting down whatever i'm telling you because ift mein ye bahut bahut zyada important hai foreign words similarly clat mein and cmat mein aur snap mein bahut important hai so aur tisnet mein to aapko pata hi rcs mein pucha ja sakta hai directly ya fir directly uh, indirectly aapko rc mein bhi pucha ja sakta hai okay so thanks a lot for watching uh, please like share and subscribe to novation and uh, thanks again for watching all the very best bye bye